quick user guide. Well, not really a user guide, just a quick use how to uh, and a review. I've used this a few times already, so it's not an unboxing. This is a pretty good charger that's fast. Um, well, it's going to be as fast as the amps you put in, obviously, so it's not any faster than anything else that with the same output amperage. Um, it does come with the wrong plug on it. You can just use the adapter, those little white adapters that you get. I don't like doing that, so I just cut the end off and change the end not really a super big deal and there's where you plug it in make sure you can see it good Control. I'll charge two different batteries. I'll charge a Graphene 1500 and uh, what are these? Lions. I'll charge a Lion and a Graphene just so I can show the setup there. Watch how you're plugging stuff in. Make sure your little notches on your balance port are facing your little notches. I have accidentally, on my other charger, that's why I bought a new one, went in kind of cockeyed and I shorted out a charger doing that. You would think you wouldn't be able to, but there is just enough wiggle room where you can. So, and then you can even just check it's a 4S and just plug it into your 4S slot. Just a warning because I thought I was above making mistakes and I made a mistake. And once you get them plugged in, you can see on there that I have set up for charging what I charged the last time around. So all you gotta do you look down here and this is one you look over here and this is two and one and two so in number one we got 4s15 so you can either do it out of memory which uh, you just scroll over there's memory battery memory those are the ones I put in and then you got memory one and you can go through your toggle through to memory two and you can see memory two is set up as and it showed to see it was 1.5 and then that's um, the discharge is set, I have set up as a 2 amp discharge. And if you push and hold the start button, it'll get you into that program. Now you see it's all there, and if you want to start, push and hold enter. Let's just check the battery, and it shows you what it is. And then you could just hit enter again, and it would start charging. Otherwise, if you don't push anything, it just goes back to the idle screen. Uh, if you want to change something when you're already in it, you can just push um, 
You can go all. Oops. You can just push enter and it'll start flashing. Uh, your amps. Push enter again. It'll go over to your 4S. It'll be flashing. That's just if you're already in it and you want to change it around. But it won't, in this point, it won't do anything to your memory. You have to go into the battery memory to be able to change. So this is just like a, it loads the program onto the charger from the battery memory. But you can change it around and everything and it's it's not going to change your battery memory unless you go into your battery memory and save it, basically. So, you've seen how I went through and did the memory on this one. This one's just already set, already charged one at this. So, I need to do a double check on one. I'm doing it at 1.5 amps. It's a 14.84S. And if you push and hold the status button, I believe. Nope. That was wrong. That's when you're charging if you push the status button. I'll just go on balance for both of them. Balance. And then see how this one's at what it already needs to be at for my other battery. I can go in. I'll show you how to do what I was talking about with the memory. If you go into. Um, this was loaded off of the memory already but it's just staying in there as a default. Anytime you change it out of the memory, if you unplug it and plug it back in, it'll stay at what it was. So if I unplugged it and unplugged it back in, it would stay at 11 volt 3S, and then number one would be 14.8 um, 4S. It would stay at that if I unplugged it and plugged it back in. So every time you plug it back in, you go to charge your battery, make sure you look to see what your settings are. So this one I could change if I wanted to, I could just go, that's what I'd want it. I can switch it to 4S, whatever, all up to 6S. But it's a 3S, so I'll leave it on 3S there, just like that. And then the other one's at 4S, and they're both at 1.5 amp. Um, just because I'm just showing you, I'm not really in a hurry. I'm not going to try to do a super fast charge on them and then all you have to do is push and hold I'll do it at the same time and then push it again and now they're both charging and you can go in and just push the increase on the status and it gives you your voltages per cell, which I thought was pretty awesome. There's just a quick overview. I like the charger. You can also build for in the field. You can do it a couple different ways. I went to Walmart and I got a plug and then I just used a chunk of extension cord and positive to positive, negative to negative, and then you can just plug it in to the side right there, and you can run it off your vehicle. That's the easy way to do it so you don't have to use any battery clips or anything, and it does work just fine. Nothing gets hot. There's not too much amp draw because you can run 10 amps through this, and your cigarette lighter will run at 10 amps, so it's not like you're going to overheat or do anything bad to your circuit but and that's about it please like and subscribe have a great day